The Bible tells us they will know we are Christians by our love, doesn't it? But love is not part of the human nature, isn't it? It takes work to have genuine love for others. And I want to talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. Peter tells us the journey, and it truly is a journey. Second Peter, the first chapter, Peter lays out what it takes to have genuine love so we can be as much like Christ as possible. It tells us that nothing's more important than reading God's word. It starts with reading the word. We can never take that for granted. If you are not reading your Bible daily, you need to do it. Everything good in our life flows out of the faith that we get that's built up through our obedience to the word. And we can't be obedient to the word if we don't read it or know the word. Listen to the journey. Once we have that faith, here's what happens. Faith produces moral excellence. We start knowing what's right or wrong and doing the right thing. Once we do that from moral excellence, it leads to knowing God better. We have to know God. We have to be in his presence. We have to be intimate with him. So he rubs off on us. Then we go from knowing God better. That leads to self-control. How tough is that one? So against our human nature to be disciplined or have that self-control. And when we know God better, we know his spirit better. And a fruit of his spirit is self-control. Self-control leads to patient endurance. Don't even talk to me about patience because that's not an easy one. Patient endurance. The things we go through in our lives, we need to endure them patiently because God has them there for a reason. If we don't have the right attitude, if we don't have the right mindset, we're not able to handle those situations. So if we have the discipline in our life, which includes mental discipline, that sets us up to be able to patiently endure. And now we're getting close. Patient endurance leads to godliness. That's when we start becoming more like God, when we have God full in our life. Finally, godliness leads to love for Christians and ultimately a genuine love for others. That's the path that we need to follow starts by reading his word and having that faith and then developing and maturing our life so we can genuinely love everybody we come in contact with and be more like Christ. I pray you'll take that on as a challenge today. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.